If you like to believe in Elon Musk, and most of the world does, we will be entering into the next level of self-driving technology. As you know, the current self-driving features of electric vehicles, which are called autopilot modes, use radar to make them more precisely function. But Tesla is planning to get rid of that radar. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind Tesla's decision and what alternative they will be using. The world is steadily marching ahead to the autonomous vehicle age, and the development of self-driving features available now is proof of that statement. Technologies like radar and LiDAR. Okay, let me put you through how they work. So the radar technology actually uses radio waves to detect objects and determine their range, angle, etc. While the LiDAR does a similar type of function, but uses light instead, thus the name light detection and ranging. So, essentially, they help electric vehicles to see other objects, like cars, pedestrians, and cyclists. Almost every single company working on self-driving cars right now uses LiDAR. Uber, Waymo, and Toyota all use it. And Xpeng EVs are using radar to have a better functioning self-driving feature. What about Tesla? The ones who are really into Tesla and Elon Musk must have known by now how much Elon Musk dislikes LiDAR technology. Well, actually, Elon hates the use of LiDAR sensors for autonomous driving systems. In 2019, upon asking about the integration of LiDAR on Tesla EVs, Elon Musk had this to share. LiDAR is a fool's errand. Anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Doom, Elon added. He said in the past that he wouldn't implement LiDAR even if it was free. Okay, Elon Musk doesn't like LiDAR technology, but why? He answered that too. Expensive sensors that are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well, now we're gonna put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. So, how the Tesla self-driving feature works then? That's the question that comes up. Early on, its autopilot and self-driving effort, Tesla made a clear decision to bet on computer vision powered by a camera and complemented with radar. With eight cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and radars, the autopilot feature is linked with a deep neural network that enables the EV to see and sense the environment around the car. Goodbye to radar and sensors? So, Tesla has been using radars and sensors for the self-driving feature, but for quite some time, they were looking to get rid of them. And recently, Elon Musk also admitted that. Tesla states that there is a need to find the right amount of sensors to put on an autonomous vehicle, without limiting the amount of data it can capture and process. Tesla states that sensors like radar, LiDAR, and ultrasonic sensors can become too costly to put in a mass market vehicle. And from that thought, Tesla has come up with a solution, which is called Pure Vision. Tesla currently uses a combination of vision and radar, but Musk believes Pure Vision will eventually beat out the hybrid approach. He says Vision has more precision, and it's worth doubling down on that technology for the future. And recently, Tesla received the patent for which they will be able to estimate the properties of objects using data from visual images. Currently, all of Tesla's vehicles have a forward-facing radar hidden at the front of the car. But if the technology of the patent is implemented on the EVs of Tesla, then it can mean the end for the use of radars in them. What is Pure Vision exactly? Elon Musk has been saying that Tesla is looking to eventually update its autopilot and full self-driving suite to a camera-based system. And according to their most recent update, the company aims to remove sensors from its cars, and FSD will rely only on pure vision, which, according to Elon, may already be possible in the new version of FSD Beta version 9.0. As the new patent of Tesla confirms the American brand's efforts into its image recognition systems, and the electric car environment itself in its effort to achieve total autonomous driving, meaning, as they call it, the Pure Vision FSD would allow a vehicle to detect and interpret the distance to its surroundings through image data and machine learning. The patent explains its operation, which will be implemented through two neural networks, capable of measuring an object's distance using only data from the images. The first neural network determines the distance of objects from images captured by cameras around a vehicle. 
When the second neural network kicks in, training material is created to annotate images for the first neural network. The patent also provides Tesla with a way to automatically label vision data, one of the most time-consuming parts of Tesla's FSD development. Tesla FSD Beta version 9.0 Tesla's full self-driving FSD Beta version 9.0 is soon going live. Being a .0 update means it's a major one. Musk noted that the update would be pure vision, no radar, as the system will stop using the radar sensor and solely rely on the cameras. Elon Musk has been teasing this update for some time, and it's supposed to have a long list of improvements. Tesla's FSD Beta has gotten very popular, and people are wanting to join the beta testing team. Pure Vision vs. Radar Which one wins? Okay, so Elon Musk and the Tesla fans are really looking forward to the Pure Vision update, as it can lead to a better and new system of autonomy without radar and reduced cost. But today, most companies are using radar or similar LiDAR-based self-driving systems. So in the case of Pure Vision and radar, which one is better? Radar has the benefit of being able to detect objects very well, even in bad weather conditions, and the accuracy of radar is also well efficient. But they have issues distinguishing stopped objects. They also have very low resolution and range. But in a pure vision, the video data obtained by the camera is most similar to the real world perceived by human eyes and is also closest to the shape of human driving. With the development of camera technology, high resolution, and high frame rate imaging is expected from the pure vision. From the cost point of view, integration of radar in the EVs make the price go up as there are quite expensive machines involved here. In the pure vision, Tesla focused on the reduction of radars and sensors, and this can result in a reduction in the price of the EVs. According to Elon, sensors are a bitstream, and cameras have several orders of magnitude more bits per second than radar or LiDAR. FSD Beta version 9.0 is also said to have improved in bad weather. This can probably be attributed to the camera system. Vision has much more precision, so better to double down on vision than do sensor fusion, Elon says. When radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe, he added. Tesla may be working on something that can lead us to the next level of autonomy, or Elon Musk's company is doing another marketing strategy. But when this version 9.0 update hits every Tesla, we will be sure of which one it is. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.